Hey, everybody. Welcome to another live show with Anstead's Tobacco with our special guests. Wayne, who's our special guest today? Our special guest, Nish Patel from the Rocky Patel Company. Uh, and along with Franklin, is our rep for Rocky Patel as well. Glad to have I you guys. Uh, so Wayne, so Nish Dijek, yeah. <laughs> awesome. So how you guys been doing? You know what? I'm ready to. I'm itching to get out on the road. I'm traveling tomorrow. Get on my first plane, going to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So, uh, you know, trying to keep busy, doing a lot of Zoom events and everything else. How That's are you guys awesome. doing? We're doing good. Uh, we really missed the opportunity to have an event with you. It was scheduled when all this uh, kind of broke yeah. loose. So, uh, uh, we look forward. I was talking to Franklin earlier before you got on. When we'd like to have an opportunity to to reschedule you back out here again to, to have a in store. You know what? Just get together with Franklin and right now my schedule is pretty open. Uh, yeah. That's what I was telling Franklin. We really haven't made any plans right now. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. We did. But so normally uh, this time of year, we're getting ready to go to uh, Vegas for the PCA. We're calling it now. And uh, I was wondering, do you guys have some new stuff lined up to be uh, bringing out about this time of year? Yes. So, you know, this is our 25 years in business. Okay. And, great. Uh, so we're coming out with a cigar called Quarter Century. That's a big release this year. It's got a uh, lower priming San Andreas wrapper on it, all Nicaraguan filler, but uh, it's got a secret tobacco that we're not telling anybody about. This cigar has been aged for two years. It's not limited. It's going to keep going. To me, it's medium full, but it's got tons of complexity, complexity, a lot of sweetness. It reminds me of the old, old Cubans, but with more flavor and more uh, complexity. Uh, uh, and if, I happen to know. Go ahead, Frank. Well, I'll say it. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it's two years aged after rolling it with 10-year-old tobacco. Is that correct? Well, I'm not going to say about 10-year tobacco because uh, that part – I'm not sure about because I don't want to talk about the secret tobacco. But <laughs> our second our second release is called uh, Winter Blend. We came out with the Winter Blend, our original one, back in 2009. And uh, it was the most sought after cigar we made. It's Remember? not going to be the exact same blend, but the flavor profile is about the same. So that's going to be another big release. And then under Hamlet, we're coming out with Hamlet 2020 being an election year. So those are three releases. And also, Wayne, you're going to be, I believe, in Charlotte for our Traveling Road Show. Yep. So what we did was, instead of the PCA, because that was canceled, and we were going to do the same thing at that came, people that came to the PCA show. We're going to have two cigars that are only going to be available for people that come to the PCA show or we're going to or come to our Traveling Road Show. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be our ALR2 which is one of the best cigars we've ever made. And the other one got the number one rating in the rest of the world last year, and that's called Grand Reserve. Okay. And both of those are only people that come to the show. Awesome. Well, we'll definitely so, get those, those new ones in. Yeah, yeah, that new cigar that you're talking about, uh, we're going to do the national launch here at Anstead's, right? <laughs> Franklin? <laughs> I'll be there for it. <laughs> I know so, a guy. There you go. We will we'll we'll introduce it to the whole world, right, Wayne? That's it. I have a question about the winter blend. You guys, uh, there was a marketing genius thing back when you guys did the winter, the summer, the fall, 
limited production. I mean, we just blew those cigars out. They were all great. And then they were gone. And then the new one came and everybody won them. What, whatever happened to that? Why did it end, you know? Yeah, it was the tobaccos that, that were in there. And they were really rare tobaccos. And we didn't have enough to do a full production of it. Okay. And at that time, we were doing that with AJ. So now, after all these years, we've been saving tobacco and we've been trying to get that same flavor profile of the original winter, which is the biggest success. That's why we came out with the winter blend this year. Okay. Awesome. okay. But that was definitely a huge hit. I remember it back then. Yeah. So we're excited. I mean, I've been smoking them and uh, they, they are pretty good. Okay. Especially that country is amazing. So we'll have some samples at the event there in uh, Charlotte. Absolutely. You will. Awesome. Tom will be there as well too. We both, both oh, signed. Yeah, you guys will see the actual packaging, everything. You, you'll see everything there, even some of our new accessories that uh, we've got some really cool stuff coming out that you'll see all being displayed there. Awesome. Oh, I'm like looking it. forward to it. So, um, I'm kidding. Franklin's not giving you a taste of one of those. He keeps to be smoking those all over the place. He says he's not on the road or something like that. <laughs> As I see him sitting in his car. <laughs> yeah. Is that the ALR too? I mean, there's only so many left, even in my personal stash now. So it's nothing personal, but I get it. No, get it. You've been smoking Grand Reserve and all of that. Oh man! Uh, okay, so <laughs> I, 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 I plead the fifth. <laughs> By the way, I can tell you, uh, Wayne, I mean, obviously, the people that are watching this have been to your store and being around, traveling to most stores around the country. Yours is one of the most unique places that I've been to. And when I say unique, it's just phenomenal. All of a sudden, you see this big thing that looks like a big barn that shows up middle of the city. And you walk in, and you got a couple floors. You got different lounges. You got bars. I mean, if, if you guys haven't checked out Anstead's, it is one of the most amazing places to enjoy a cigar and a libation of your choice. It really is a cool place. So congratulations. Yeah, well, I thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, our customers do love it. Business has been fantastic here. So we're, we're well supported by the community, which has been awesome. And uh, even during all of COVID-19, uh, other than the fact that our bar is still closed, and as of today, we'll be closed for another two or three weeks. Governor won't really? let us open. Um, it, it's still business has been pretty good. So I, I appreciate all those customers that have been supporting us all this time. It, you know, it's amazing, and uh, customers are really are supporting the brick and mortars once they started opening up. Yeah. You know, they were going online and all that when we were all closed, but they are really stepping up. So thank you, everyone out there. Yeah. And, and we, about about a year and a half, two years ago, we kind of went fully operational on our website. Um, okay. Even with the looming possibility that the FDA would ban Internet sales, we just decided to do it. Um, and that, that has also been fantastic. I mean, we're getting orders not only from in town, around town, but from all over the United States now, too. So people are going to ansteads.com, and, and, and we're getting those orders. So it's pretty cool. Awesome. So once this is done, uh, once this is done, I'm sure Franklin will be talking to you about what we can help you with on the online side, too. Okay. That sounds good. I think he froze up. I think he froze. Maybe I'll, I'll pull froze. him off. And maybe yeah, he'll join yeah. back He'll be joining. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So right now, Wayne and I are smoking the the uh, the bold. Okay, so that back as in, long the, as you got a torpedo in your hand, I think I reblended the bold. Huh. So when it first came out, it was a spice bomb. It was really big, and in the last year, I just toned it down a little bit, so it's not as spicy up front. And as you go into it, you're gonna see it's gonna really mellow out. And you're going to get a lot of that dark chocolate, roasted espresso flavors. I I am now putting this up as one of our top three after the reblend. It's really smoking that that good. But how do you switch some of the old guys? You know, unless going out and doing events. Yeah, that is true. It's tough. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's there's uh, I think it's more refined. Yes. You, know? exactly. you, you didn't tone it down. You refined it. It's mature. Refined it. It's getting refined better. It. Yes, and 
it's truly luxur luxurious tobacco and you can easily taste those dark chocolate and those espresso notes in there. It's really a nice, nice cigar to have on an afternoon like today. Hey, Franklin's back. Let's add him back in there. Where'd you go, buddy? I am so sorry about that. My uh, my phone overheated because the uh, the sun coming through my 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 windshield and it uh, shut down all everything on my phone. Oh. Down in Florida, the laptop, like I told you. <laughs> Don't you have the AC on in your car? Yeah. I I do, but it uh we're having, we're having a brutal summer out here though. Although I'm sure Florida is a little bit worse. <laughs> I was just at the beach earlier, so. Ah, that must be nice. So this tell us a little bit about uh, we're we're promoting these here at the shop, which is uh, I think you guys are one of the major partners in that. So tell us a little right. bit about our customers. We have a, a few of them left. We've sold most all the ones we purchased. Okay, so we partnered up with uh, La Polina, and they started this thing called the Cigar Lockdown, and they wanted to do to support the brick and mortars while everything was shut down. So. We put in 10 cigars, and the cigars we put in is a 50th anniversary that retails, that's a Toro size, I believe, that retails for about $22, $23 a cigar, depending on your tax. Then we put in a special edition that out of 3,000 accounts, only 262 accounts I allowed to get it, that got number one cigar in the world. That was in there. We got a 15th anniversary in there that got more top 25s than any cigar out there. We have our 2006 Old World Reserve Maduro. We put in uh, our regular Sun Grown uh, LB1. So every every cigar in that pack is 90 rated or higher. And if you just take our 10 cigars alone, retail it on that is like $140. Then Oliva threw in the number one rated Milano, the number one rated V. Then they've got a great selling nub in there. They got a Connecticut and a master blend from what I remember. Then La Polina threw in three La Polina cigars and two Room 101s. So you got 20 really great cigars with a retail price of about $245 that you're gonna get for what, 125 Wayne maybe, depending on the tax. Yeah, we, yeah, we take it for 125. Okay, and here's what's great about it. Each pack comes with 10 raffle tickets, mm -hmm. okay? The show is gonna be on Thursday the 25th. Now, the raffle tickets are good for six weeks after the show. Oh. So say for some reason your consumer doesn't get around to looking at the raffle ticket, they're gonna pull them on Thursday and they're gonna be posted on their website you have up to six weeks to collect your price. And they're yeah. giving away over five thousand dollars worth of prizes and raffles. So they're giving away a Honduras trip. We've got four hundred dollar travel cases, humidors, then Matt Booth is throwing in a bunch of stuff, Oliva's throwing in a bunch. So there's all kinds of stuff that your consumers can win. So not only are they getting great cigars at almost a fifty percent price, but they have a chance to win all these different raffles by purchasing it. So please go to Anstead's and pick up that La Polina Oliva okay. and Rock pack because that alone is a phenomenal, phenomenal pack for 125. It's a no brainer. Yeah. It's got one of my favorite Rockies in there, that special edition. Yep. I like that a lot. That's really nice. And that trip to Honduras, I'm I'm, I'm guessing that's gonna be a uh, a cigar factory tour and a and a wonderful trip is my guess. Two people. Two people. That should be pretty cool. Yeah. That should be pretty good. Stuff. And that's what I wanted to stress that the raffles are good for six weeks yet. Okay. They want one and they pick it up Friday from you. They can mm -hmm. still go to the website and get the raffles. Okay. That's pretty good. That is. Uh, let people know yeah. the six weeks. what they're going to do is after they pull pull the raffles, they know how many you guys bought. They will also send you the winners of the raffle tickets. Okay. So you can put it at your store too. No, perfect. That would be great. Yeah. yeah. That would be great. We only have a few packs left, so people better hurry. And um, mm -hmm. even if you're not interested in raffles, which would be crazy, uh, 20 cigars, 
some of these you can't even get anymore. You yeah. need to buy this because this is a great, great pack. There's even a little humidity pack in here from a better keep it fresh until you're ready. So they're they're ready to smoke. They're ready to go. Come on down, get some. Go online, pick up some packs and, with and, them. And those knuckleheads have actually put on a pretty good show. Unfortunately, I'm going to be doing an event at the tasting room on Thursday, but I will watch it on YouTube later on. And Clay comes from, you know, his father started Charlie's Angels, Mission Impossible. So they've got, they've in fact got one of the comedians that opens up for Russell Peters that's going to be on the show. So it's going to be a good variety show to do with cigars that's going to start tomorrow. So, I mean, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. We're really looking forward to it. You got some. You got some fan mail there, Wayne. I see that. I see that. <laughs> Hello, Valerie. <laughs> and uh, I got a message here from Alan Rubin. Wants to know if you're enjoying the Noah drink right now, Nish. <laughs> I'm actually having some tequila on the rocks right now. Nice. That sounds nice. No, no oranges. What's that, Franklin? No oranges. No, he just said the no. Noah. You know, I don't have oranges at the office right now, so. I don't even know who you are anymore. <laughs> Wait, you're in Florida, right? I am. And but I am at the, at the office. <laughs> I do, hey, listen, I do have my scotch, which okay. we will be talking about later on with the travel case, but. Uh, That's pretty good. You're going to have that bottle of scotch with you at the, uh, at the, at the road show? You know what? There will be. There's going to be a full bar at, at all the places. So right. we're going to have food drive. at the full bar at every location. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to it. So um, the AIDS Limited Reserve cigar you guys did. That's there's another production of that coming out shortly. Correct. So, yeah, so that's the one that I said, Wayne, earlier that you're going to be able to get because you're coming to our trade show. Okay. It's going to be the same ALR2. So we had ALR1, mm -hmm. and then last year we we introduced the ALR2, which is age, limited, and rare. And it was such a hit, and that blend is so good that when that came out, we've already started aging for next year and the year after, and it's going to be like our Opus X. So every year we're going to – have more boxes being made and aged. Right now, they've been aging for a little over two and a half years. And uh, we're releasing them at the trade show. The first release was 2,000 boxes. I think we bumped that up to about 2,500. So okay. more every time. Yeah, we have a couple of our customers have been asking about it because we're so obviously sold out. And yeah. uh, I, I just texted Franklin the other day to find out when, what the scoop on it was. So I've been sharing well, that. Here's a deal I'm going to make for your guys right now. All right. Anybody that wants to buy ALR2 today, I will to make it? sure they ship to Anstead's tomorrow. Okay. I like that. that That's a great deal. Okay. Buy a box. He'll ship it out to us tomorrow directly. Yep. yep. All right, people. This is your challenge. That's it. Or a box. Call the store because you won't find it on our website because it's not an inventory. But call the store and pay for a box. We'll have it to you overnight. It's got to be the Robusto, the 60, and uh, that's it. Because the Toros, I still won't have them for another four or five days. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So uh, I want to ask a quick question. How big is the factory down there, um, the main Rocky factory? So the main Rocky factory in Honduras is close to about 450,000 square feet. Uh, if you use all the other rooms, it can be a little bit bigger. The Nicaraguan one is more of a boutique factory, but that is where, before COVID hit, we just bought a ton of land. We're growing a lot of tobacco down there, and we want to make that the biggest factory in Nicaragua. Ooh, where it's a good the house, where we can do all our tours. That'll be our complete factory. But we put it on hold right now because we don't know COVID hit in Nicaragua. It's pretty bad. You is know, it? the government, yeah, the government is not saying so, but it's pretty bad. So we're rushing up all our Nicaraguan tobacco, anything that's been aging. We're having it up here. I want at least a year's worth of inventory up here on the Nicaraguan stuff because we don't want to run out. Yeah. 
because you never know when it'll be shut down, you know? That's true. That's right. And um, the new Anstead's Tobacco uh, Limited Production Wing, when will that be completed at the factory? <laughs> you know, the same time we're going to be building the house, so there'll be an Anstead's room over there. There you that go. That sounds great. We'll come down there and help you uh, break it in properly and uh, kick off some, some tours when the factory reopens. And, and well, Tom, I'm going I'm to throw one at you right now. That's going to really screw this whole thing up. So if anybody buys a box between now and the end of the week from you guys, give them a raffle ticket, and here's what we'll do. The next time Anstead's goes to Honduras, right, on a trip, mm -hmm. For one person, the winner, I'll pick up the airfare and everything else. Wow. Okay. I'm going to buy a box. But they have to buy a box to enter. Fair enough? Yeah, yeah. people, we're giving away the store today. Come on down. Get a box. <laughs> we'll get a raffle one, ticket. Get two boxes of three raffle tickets and three boxes of six raffle tickets. How's okay, that? Is, that is amazing. I love this. Yes. Uh, Franklin, hope you're ready to take some orders because we're going to order some more soon now. <laughs> Apparently, Wayne only texted me and eat something, so I'm used to it now. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, you're in your car, so start driving. You could probably be here by the close of business. We'll get something going. Hey, and I got to tell you, people have not been to this trip. You know, a lot of people do trips. We do it the Rocky Patel way. So it leaves on a it leaves on a Sunday, comes back on a Wednesday, leaves on a Wednesday, comes back on a Saturday. Um, we've got. A beautiful house. It's a converted hotel, swim up bar. Uh, the first day we have bottles of rum all over the place, cigars, two things we never run out of cigars and booze. Okay. <laughs> and then once once you go through the whole process from seedlings, curing barns, sorting rooms, packaging, and we think you learned a lot about cigars. We put all our aged tobacco in front of you and you get to blend your own cigars. And you take five or six of your own cigars back with you. Now, if you guys decide, oh, man, my blend's really good. I want some. You call up Wayne or Tom and say, hey, I want 100 cigars of mine. I make them with your name on it. I sell them to Wayne, and he sends them, sells them to you guys. So it's really good. Now, Franklin starts giving you some free boxes. It's not because he's a nice guy. We've tweaked your blend, and we're making a lot of money on it. <laughs> yeah. Why you gotta ruin it for me, man? <laughs> so well, the, the deal for the tickets runs through this week, right? Is that what we're doing? Through yeah. Okay. Through Sunday. That's perfect. And you guys can pick the winner Monday at your store or whatever. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. We'll go live Monday. Yeah. And we'll draw some tickets. You want to go live with us, Nish? I would love to. All right. How about three o'clock on Monday. Sounds perfect. All right. All right. We'll do the same thing. I'll send you a new link, and we'll go live together, and we'll draw some tickets for some winners. Yeah. That could be nice. That'd be awesome. Well, it'll be a ticket, and then they, if they bought several boxes, that's pretty good. Yep, so that's good. And, All right. And, and if you guys sell a lot of boxes, I'm going to put a second prize in there, which is a uh -oh. $300 humidor. Oh, nice. This is going to be a good time. This is better than the North Carolina lottery. There, there we go. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You, you, you actually get yeah. something for your money here. Yeah. What is the cost for your trip? So usually it's uh, airfare, depending. It can go anywhere from 800 to 1200 bucks for the airfare. And uh, by the time we lodge them and all, it costs us another couple hundred bucks. So it's okay. so about 1500 bucks worth that they're getting. Nice. That's nice. Yeah, we yeah. Um, have you guys planned started planning trips next year because we're we're always looking for a, a different yeah. place. To go. We go somewhere every year. You know, our, our trips in the spring are going to start like uh, mid January and end mid May. Okay. So I, I would pick something in the spring when it's cold by you guys because that's when you see the most tobacco. Like February, March is perfect. Yeah, that's too. typically we try to go the end of January, first three weeks of February is our, our goal. That so, works perfect. We're yeah. open right now. So when I come to see you guys in a couple of weeks, we'll get this all planned out together. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'd like to do that. So uh, another thing we like to do during this show is uh, 
sometimes we'll ask a, a trivia question and we'll give people over the weekend of the week to um, answer it. They can go back, do their research, do their homework. Um, and then we'll draw another prize for that winner. Everyone that answers it correctly in the comments over the next couple of days, uh, we'll pull a ticket from that for everyone that's got it correct. And uh, we're going to give them a nice, fabulous prize of some kind. We can, uh, we've got something, I'm sure. But I think uh, I'm going to ask one question, and then I'll let Nish ask a question. So my trivia question is going to be, how many square feet is the Rocky Patel factory in Honduras? Not including the new Ansteads Tobacco Limited Edition wing. So how many square feet? If you answer that correctly, uh, you'll get a raffle ticket, and then we'll draw your name, hopefully, in, uh, on Monday as well. Um, what other great uh, question could we ask our audience, Nish, that they may or may not know already um, that uh, they could get a chance to win a prize from us? Do you want me to give the question? Yeah, I'd love you to give us a good trivia question about uh, about you, about Rocky Patel cigars, Nish Patel, Hamlet cigars, anything. All right, so um, what year – then Rocky Patel released the 1990 and 1992 vintage. Mm -hmm. Good one. And it's the first cigar that was under the Rocky Patel name. Mm, that is a good question. That is a good question. <laughs> I may have Back to then, Our trade show was called RTDA. Ooh. And Wayne, I'll give you one hint. I believe it was Nashville. Oh, okay. Yeah, I okay. stayed in Austin, Nashville for about a week, I think. <laughs> the convention center. You, you get lost. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I won't forget that one. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. We've got so, some people answering already, and hopefully they'll, they'll get it correct. But we give them some time to do their homework and make it fair that we've got a whole bucket full of tickets to choose from. It's a lot of I fun. Give them a if they do some research, right, yeah. Wayne? That's right. So, yeah. recap the deals, Tom. Recap the deal. So, if you come in and you buy a box of Rocky Patel cigars, you're going to get a raffle ticket for one person who could win a trip to uh, airfare included Honduras for a fantastic tour. Um, if you buy, is it three boxes, you get three tickets? Two. Can I go through the deals? Is that Just a normal deal? Yeah, hey, you go ahead. All right. So you buy a box, you're going to get five cigars of your choice. You have either our Nicaraguan pack, which are all medium to full bodied, rated 90 or higher, or you have a Honduran pack, which is more medium, that has decade, it's got some Connecticut, and most of those are 90 rated or 95 and higher. On top of that, you're going to get a triple flame torch lighter with 50 bucks and it comes with a punch cutter on it. So one box, you're going to get five cigars, the lighter, and one raffle ticket. Okay. Two boxes, you're going to get 10 cigars. You're going to get the lighter. And are we doing the cutter? Is that what we're doing? No, we're doing the Luminosa Ashtray. So we're doing... Oh, we're doing this right here. Ooh. Oh, nice. It is heavy, it's crystal, it's beautiful. So you get that with two boxes, this, the lighter, and 10 cigars, and three raffle tickets. Now here's the bad boy for three boxes. You do not get this bottle of scotch, but it does go in here. Wow, this is what you get. This is alligator. I mean, this is crocodile. We also have this in ostrich, and we also have it in stingray. Oh, wow. When you open it up, man, that's nice. Oh, nice. Glasses, comes with 10 cigars, but this holds 20. So there's a, there's a thing in the back that holds 20. Okay? 10 and 10. Okay. But, it comes with a five flame Rocky Patel torch lighter with a punch on the bottom, and it comes with a cutter. This is worth $400. It's a party to go. It is. You have a three boxes today. 
And you get six raffle tickets. Super. I think well, we have a lot of those MIGs. I think we're going to get a lot of people buying three boxes. <laughs> oh, we have them, and they're beautiful. And, and the ostrich is yeah. beautiful. It's got that orangish yellow look and the stingrays black. And it's really good. I'm going to show it to you in a little second. I'm going to have them bring it. Awesome. You hear that, Franklin? You have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I'm always down for it. Yeah. Good. Well, good. after the past two months of uh, not being able to travel, I welcome more work to do right now. <laughs> well, you're welcome here anytime. Come on down here, work the humidor, hang out, smoke with us. Yeah, well, I have to now. We got we got to plan a Honduras trip together. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. Franklin never knows what's going to come out of my mouth when he does one of these things. So who knows? It all depends on what you drink. Hands off the wheel here. I'm just. Uh... <laughs> that is going to be fantastic. Um, well, we're looking forward to coming to the road show the next month. That's going to be a really good time. Are you going to be there, Nish, or are you? I'm, I'm not going to be in Charlotte. It's going to be Dave Bullock will be in Charlotte. Franklin will be there, and Max will be. So we're doing 15 cities in 11 days. Oh, wow. So we're all going to be in Naples, and then we're going to spread out. I get to go to Chicago, Indy, Dallas, and Houston, and then Connecticut. And I believe uh, Dave is doing Naples, Atlanta, Washington, D.C., Charlotte, and New York. Rocky's doing Los Angeles, Phoenix. He might be joining me in Dallas, so... Okay. Yeah, this isn't traveling with me, so it's okay. It's I think you should add one more stop here in Fayetteville. The close you out the whole road show. Stop here in Fayetteville for a good uh, road show after party. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We want to wait till the bars open. Yeah, really. We will. <laughs> we will get a special permit. Whatever we can do. I remember a little fireplace you have out there too. I think you guys are just construction on that outside patio, which is pretty cool too. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful place. It really is. And it's, you know what? It's a great place. It's like uh, Wayne's vision of a Disneyland of cigar lounges is here, and it's a fabulous place to work. And it's absolutely the best thing ever. Tom, you put it right. The Disneyland of cigars. That's a good. Yeah. That's yeah. Wayne's trademark <laughs> phrase. There, not mine. I just help it on. That's pretty cool. Have a good time. I mean, for people that are on this call that haven't been there, you guys need to go to Fayetteville, and it's an experience all on its own. It's, you can't describe it until you see it. Yeah. You really can't. You can't. If you, go down you, down down, you have no excuse not to go. <laughs> One of the nice things, too, is because with all the shutdown and everything was closed, except our retail was still open, uh, Tom and I have been discussing since the first of the year. You know, it's time to go through and refresh the place, repaint, do all the stuff, redo the floors. So we've gone through and completely uh, redone the entire inside of the store uh, over the last wow. month. So fresh paint, reupholster some of the furniture and stuff like that. So it's like a brand new store all over again. Yeah, because there's no way to paint the place when it's open all the time. Unless yeah. you want to yeah. pay quadruple the price to have them done at night. So I say, hey, it's closed, Wayne. we got to do this now. Let's go. So we, we did it. You know What's amazing about your place, you have so many different pockets that you can be with your own group and smoke a cigar and have talks. It can be upstairs in the three different areas, downstairs, outside. I mean, there's a lot of different places you can be in that yeah, and enjoy. Wayne's office hang out and smoke, and then I'm sitting in the conference room, which is a nice place for people to have a little meeting and get together. Yeah. So it's pretty good. And you guys do cigar dinners in there too, right? I remember doing a cigar dinner in there. Yeah, we do. We do a every year. We do an anniversary dinner, and yeah, uh, uh, we it's a fully catered meal. Uh, typically, we kind of do it as a black tie formal event. Uh, it's nice. a lot of fun. Uh, we did it with uh, Bobby Newman this year, and believe it or not, it was the weekend before all the shit hit the fan. No way. So we, we it just, it just got so lucky that it worked out that way. I mean, it's, you guys think outside the box, and that's what you got to do now, you know? And people come there. It can be a beautiful place, but they come there for you guys, too. And that's the reason. Yeah, we have a great staff here. We really do. We really do have great great, great bartenders. We want, we're really bad. want to get them back to work. So Yeah. But. 
Yeah. 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 You know, cigar lounge. It's I'm gonna go support Tom or Wayne and that that face you put behind it. And I think Anne does a good job of having that personal connection. And so people support, you know, the tobacconists that are part of your team. And I think it does go a long way. So let me ask, let me ask this question, to Tom and Wayne. If somebody wanted to find your place and they're coming from Charlotte, how far away is it, or what's the closest place other than flying into Fayetteville to get to your place? Uh, if they're flying in, Raleigh, North Carolina. How about if they're golfing at uh, Pinehurst? Um, How far are you guys? About 45 minutes to an hour, depending upon traffic, but they can get here pretty easily. Yeah, you, gotta have, you have to work yourself around Fort Bragg because we're kind yeah. of Bragg's between us and Pinehurst. But it's, it's a doable, but it's about a 45-minute drive over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is nothing. So you golfers out there, check it out. I mean, it's a great place to pick up oh, your yeah. cigars, and then after you're done, hang out with your buddies. That's yep. right. Yeah, we get a lot of folks that travel through here, and, and we get a lot of folks from Charlotte, Raleigh all the time that come down here. And folks that drive up and down Interstate 95 that have heard about us will yeah. swing over and come in, buy cigars, and hang out for an hour. They'll, they'll so get... we, what are you guys, like two and a half hours from Charlotte? Two hours? Yeah, two uh, hours and 30 yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, roughly that. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, and if, and if people are driving up and down 95, um, you know, they got that 295 highway that just about brings you right to our front door. It does. So you're 15 minutes off the highway. It's definitely worth a nice break. Get off the road, get out of the traffic, come in, have a cigar, you know, and uh, relax for a minute. Was, and you know, it's funny. Before um, when I first moved here, 95 wasn't completely open yet. So you still had to come on some of the side roads. And Fayetteville was actually the last stretch of Interstate 95 to open up. So Fayetteville was the stopping point for people going from New York to Florida or Florida to New York. It was the halfway point. So uh, back in the day, we used to see a lot of folks. We would spend the night here and uh, we would shop in our store in the mall, which I'd love to have the, the, this store back in those days. We're taking it down and smoke. But uh, yeah, it's a good halfway point all the way down. How long have has this store been open, Wayne? We, we're seven and a half years now. Wow. Yeah, wow. We're, we're in the mall for 37 years. And uh, we're seven and a half years now. But I'm, you know what? You're probably happy you're not in the mall right now because you would have been shut down for a long time, right? I tell you what, I, my heart yeah. goes out to all those folks that are in – that restaurants were shut down. I mean, luckily our bar is just ancillary to our cigars. Well, obviously yeah. we miss it, but it's it's it it's not that critical to us. So we're it's not an issue for us, though we hate it. Um, but my heart really goes out to anybody that has a business that was shut down. I, I can't imagine how tough that is on people. Uh, yeah. rent go on, everything goes on. It's it's crazy. Like we have the burn lounges, right? But we're considered a bar. We're not considered a cigar lounge. We're a bar that sells cigars. Mm. That's how we market ourselves. So we were completely shut down. I mean, yeah. it was we're a bar. We're not yeah. a cigar lounge that has you know, a bar section we can shut down. So we just opened up now. Yeah, we're just opening up some of them. Yeah, and we we did everything we could. You know, we uh, we have the mail order, online ordering. You can phone it and order. You can do curbside pickup. You could come into the store. We'll take you one at a time into the humidor and whatever it takes to make sure people are uh, happy, taken care of, and they get the uh, the premium cigars they need. We're here, and uh, it's been really helpful for a lot of folks, especially some of the soldiers that come back from deployment and had no idea that everything was shut down. They find out, or they get stuck in a two-week quarantine. They can't go anywhere. We can at least right. send them cigars through the mail. You know, They can order online and get things, and they're pretty happy about oh. that. Tom, also, they know if they're going to get cigars from you compared to anybody else, they know the quality and how you guys store your cigars, and they're going to get something that they used to smoking that's not going to be dried out, it's going to be aged perfectly, and that's the service you guys provide. Yeah. Same like when they come into your store to get them, right? Yeah. Right. And, and we've got a couple of folks in town and around the area that are uh, what we call a direct vendor. So maybe they've got a, a bar, a lounge, or uh, a winery, 
and they want to sell cigars, you know, a lot of them come to us and we provide them with the cigars. And uh, they've been, you know, one of the places has been doing really well with that since um, they've got such a loyal fan base themselves. And it's, right. it's been good to have those customers come in and restock themselves, you know. And Do you guys like supply to all the golf courses and all that around you guys too? Um, there's one country club we supply to that I'm aware of for sure. Um, a winery. There's a barber shop up and done that um, they have a little smoke night, like the first or third Thursday of the month when they shut down the barber shop and it's private and they have a little smoke shop and they invite some of the VIPs of the city in there and whatnot. And then um, a few other bars, but uh, so we've got about seven or eight folks that we supply cigars for. That's great. That's great. So, Dish, I was in your all's place up in uh, Pittsburgh last year. That's pretty impressive. pretty impressive. Thank you. That's that's a big place. Yeah, it is. I, I sat up there, and of course, you know, our bar is kind of, you know, we're a cigar lounge first, bar second. Yeah. So, but I, I was, it was interesting to sit there and watch all the cocktail waitresses just going all over the place. I was like sitting there going, hmm, yummy. This looks good. <laughs> yeah, we're basically a bar where you can smoke cigars. And, you know, Wayne, Pittsburgh is such a different type of city. Like every single retailer gets along. Oh, you wow. know, One, but they all support each other. They go hang out at each other's shops. I mean, we've got retailers that are locker members at our place oh wow nice. and, and they all come in they all hang out and we go over to their places and they other retailers go to other it's it's unlike any place i've been it's pretty cool you know that's what it should be, that's what it should be. yeah yeah we get a lot of folks here in north carolina we got you know we go out and we visit other shops here as well hang out smoke cigars with them and they come by and visit that's, the way it should be. that's the way it should be right absolutely and we've got a few that uh, before the COVID stuff kicked off, they want us to come to their establishment and set up, you know, a shop for the evening and right. provide them cigars for their place. But then, you know, it's shut down. But we also do other big events. Like there's a big uh, Blues and Brews Festival here in town every year. Got canceled or postponed. That's one of our big events that Wayne is like the, the title sponsor for that. And nice. we have the whole lounge set up downtown in the big festival park. And we're selling cigars, and it's a good time. And this year we were going to do the uh, the Dogwood Festival, which is really famous here in, in Fayetteville. This has also been canceled. <laughs> it has been canceled. Yeah, what, that? what time of year? Maybe I'll pop in for that. Yeah, well, we do. Uh, so typically we have some of our vendors come down. Our The Blues and Brews is probably our biggest event. Uh, we sell a lot of cigars in four hours, a lot. Um, maybe five hours because the VIP people get an extra hour in there too. And so what we typically will do, whatever manufacturer comes, we set up the table of all their cigars. And then we usually have two different manufacturers do it. Um, right. A third table is just where we kind of cover all the brands that everybody just kind of asks for. Yeah, like, what you have to. There are yeah. Rocky, Rocky Patels are in that center segment. So. Right. But, yeah, we'll, we'll keep you in mind and have you guys come do it. It's fun. Hey, it work. Well, yeah, even if you have the two other people, we'll come there to just hang out. There you go. <laughs> It's a lot of work. Those guys really hustle at those big events. And then yeah. everyone else is coming to the store to get their stash for the big event. So it's busy at both places, and it's great. So, it seems like it would be a blast. Yeah, there's like 20,000 people there. Um, it's the Fayetteville um, uh, Cape Fear Regional Theater. It's their big fundraiser they do every year. And uh, back when Ben was working with us here, um, we got into the event. And this following year, we we took on the title sponsorship where our names are on the glasses, on the marquees, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's it's a great thing to support uh, for the community. And uh, it's they, it's basically you get a, a little cup and you run around to all the vendors and taste all the beer. So everybody's having How's a really, really good time. Live music, everything. Nice. How's Ben doing, by the he way? Good. He loves Austin, Texas. Nice, nice. He's having fun in Austin, then, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you got to tell him I said hi. I'll do it. I'll do it's it. Been a while since I've seen him. Well, we're getting close to the, our our time limit, and uh, I want to thank you uh, both, Nish Franklin, for taking the time out of your day to come in, and, and Nish for making these amazing deals for our customers. Um, 
it's going to be a great time. And uh, Franklin, we expect to see you in about, uh, about two or three hours. You should be here by then, right? If I, if I do 140, I didn't get there in two and a half. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're pulling up the speeders anymore, so go ahead. Franklin, tell them they need to buy some bowl. Tell them how it's smoking. Before we let you go, Nish, would you mind giving us a, a brief overview on what the bold is? I did. You were already gone. Oh, yeah. was it that when we got kicked yeah. out? Okay. okay. We talked about it, and we got some here, and that's what we're smoking today, Wayne and I. I you, yeah, I want you to tell me about the bowl, Franklin. All right. So, can I get a broadleaf wrapper, a San Andreas, can I get a shade double binder, and a Franklin filler? I, for me, it's medium plus not quite full. It has a nice... Slightly earthy, espresso-like, a little bit of spice to it, but, 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 my absolute favorite thing about it, and I tell everyone, that Connecticut double shade, uh, double binder, adds a slight layer of creamy sweetness to it. Very subtle. So, I tell everyone, you know, if you're not a, unless you're a totally mild guy, anyone can smoke it, especially now that you made it a little bit more approachable. I think it really is in that middle ground right there. And if, if you're a mild cigar smoker, this might just win you over to bolder cigars. Yeah. Well, I wish they, I had called it bold, you know, but that was Rocky's choice. No. <laughs> what were you going to call it? Well, I actually blended Royale was supposed to be my original blend. Okay. And Rocky still sell more under the Rocky name. And then, then that got the 94 rating. I go, darn it. But you know what? <laughs> I smoke this, uh, two of these, every single day. And I've got my choice of smoking everything we make. But I yeah. always go back to this, at least one or two a day. So so it's really, a great smoke. It's so a would you say you have a thing for double binders, Nish? Uh, pardon? So would you say you have a thing for double binders? Yes, I do. Yeah. Adds mm -hmm. a little bit more complexity to it. Yes. It does. It's fantastic. Well done. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you. Thank you both for joining us today. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to both of you guys. Uh, Wayne, thanks for letting us do all these live videos. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Franklin, if I don't see you in Charlotte, you'll be here a couple hours. That'll be great. Nish, <laughs> we'll see you probably in Honduras or back here at a live event that we're going to do in person sometime soon, right? Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. Set it up, Franklin. You got it. All right. Well, that'll be it for us today, folks. Thanks again for joining us. And remember, we got some amazing deals. Thanks to Nish Patel. Uh, please come in, get your boxes, get your raffles. You too can fly with us down to beautiful Honduras and have a great time. So don't delay. Get in now while supplies last. Well, we'll just order more. It's okay. All right. Thank <laughs> you, everybody. Right. Have a great day. Thanks, Thanks very much. Take Stay care, safe. Folks. Okay. Bye.